Hey, YouTube, it's your girl, Simply Love, and I'm here to do your um, your monthly reading for April 2019, okay? First, we want to give an honor to the ancestors, to your God, to come in um, from the Most High to help us deliver the messages to you, for you, for your, for our highest good, okay? And I want to give an honor and thanks to all my subscribers out there, um, all those listeners, Really appreciate you. I'm going to start off with an overall reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, which that wants to come out. Um, with my deck here, you're welcome to go to my website. Listed below, all you have to do is click on it. It takes you there, and you can uh, purchase these and do some self-help, you know, in the um, comfort of your own home, okay? And there's other cards, other decks is there as well. You can also look on my playlist and you can see each and every card deck that I have, except for my new ones that just come out. I will put those up there, tarot cards. The, um, I have a couple of tarot card decks and um, self-help decks there. You're welcome to purchase those. Thank you all who did. Thank you, Soul, for your um, your support. I really appreciate it. Okay, now, getting on with the reading, um, some of rising Venus signs for Taurus, you have the trickster. These are jumbo size. You can get them in a, a smaller size as well. You have to do is indicate that in um, when you're making your purchase, if you want the jumbo or the, the smaller size. Okay, so we have the, uh, the trickster. Okay, the trickster is always like, you know, in the tarot deck is like the devil darn near. But this trickster is somebody who's very slick, sly, um, manipulative. Oh, this could be you or this could be a person that you're dealing with. Let's go ahead and confirm that, okay? <clears throat> Just a second. Let me tell you something. <laughs> well, let's not be so serious. Y'all lighten up. It's all good in the neighborhood, okay? Let me see what spirit has to say, our ancestors, when it comes to the messages. All right, here we go right here. So, with this trickster comes the uh, balance. Number 14, our angel, Zachiel. I don't know about these art angels. Whatever. Okay. The need for balance and meditation, moderation, I'm sorry, cooperation and compromise. Wait for the per perfect timing. Okay, so there's your, for this trickster stuff. Okay, so let's get on with your reading. Sun moon rising Venus sign for this. For Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Now these these messages can go vice versa. It doesn't necessarily have to be talking to you, someone outside yourself or around you could be doing this to you. So remember that, keep that in mind. If you're not doing it, what the heck are you worried about, okay? But if you're doing this, you know, it's for your own good to know and bring it to surface so you can do something about it. That's what the tarot cards are about, okay? And this is what the ancestors use us to help guide you through whatever needs to be done here so you can be happy. That's all we want, some happiness, but we have to have some truth first. I know I had to, but we Y'all just don't know the stuff that I have taken myself through, hunty. Woo! But that's life. That's life. Nobody's better than nobody. There's no such thing as, you know, bad reading or whatever. It's just messages. First card that comes out is judgment, okay? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, which talks about a second go round. Okay, for some of you, maybe somebody coming in wants a second chance or, you know, at redemption, you know, let's see where this is going. That's a major arcana card, okay? All right, y'all, y'all really want to talk, huh? Let's see what's up. All right, you got the four pentacles, which is your energy. It talks about holding back or holding on too tight to something. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, you got the Eight of Cups, walking away from a situation, holding back and walking away. Somebody don't want a second chance with somebody here. Again, the balance card came up. Remember, we talked about that in your uh, overall energy. Balance, you know, with the temperance. Somebody could be with a Sagittarius. 
or taking on that energy. That is a major arcana card, so somebody definitely has to balance themselves out, temper themselves. Uh, Ten of Swords, because uh, with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, it could have been like a, a, a ending. This is the final straw. This is the end of whatever this situation was. All right, for some of you out there, that, that's the end. The Ten of Swords is the end, and it was it was hurting. It was a hurtful situation, but you're not dead yet, okay? If this is you or some, you've done this to someone, you put an end to something after tempering yourself or pulling yourself together from some type of situation, uh, somebody wanting to come back, may have in your recent past hurt you very bad with the Ten of Swords. Cause you to walk away emotionally, okay? Not the star card, so you know you have some wishes and dreams that you want to fulfill here. It talks about hope. It talks about an Aquarius, okay? And then you got the nine of cups. Is there's happiness? So you're wishing and hoping, you know, and, and hanging in there for happiness, or you may have it already. Five of Pentacles, you know, um, in your recent past because someone left you out in the cold. They left you to fend for yourself, and there's a child there too so some of you could have been married some of you could have been you know in a long-term relationship a baby mama situation and somebody you know left you to fend for yourself you and the children for some of you to have children okay six of pentacles that's your energy there too so is this five of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn okay but we're talking about taurus so you could be around earth energy or they have it in you have it in your natal chart well this is y'all shoot what am i talking about taurus what am I talking about? Six of Pentacles talks about somebody wanting to be balanced, okay? They want um, some stability in their life or you're very stable, feeling that way. Ten of Wands is because you got rid of some situations that was, you know, too heavy. Too heavy. Ace of Cups talks about a brand new beginning when it comes to love. Some of you could have gotten married uh, here re recently. Uh, there's an overflow of blessings here, I see. Emotionally, you've learned to love yourself. And take it to the next level. And this cup is here uh, as a blessing from the universe saying, we see what you've been through. We know it's been hard, but you kept your, you know, with the star card, you kept your hope and faith in us. So now we're going to give you a blessing from the universe. Yeah, you were left out in the cold and fed, had to fend for yourself. But things are turning around with the Ace of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Uh, this is your energy again. There's somebody offering you things, gifts. This person, whoever you may have started a new beginning with, they can have things to offer that are tangible. Knight of Pentacles, you could be dealing, this is your energy again. You're, 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 you're in your own reaping, uh, Taurus. So you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Capricorn. Um, it just like a caution, like somebody's just sitting there pondering, not really making up their mind or not moving forward yet on this situation that somebody has something. You could be cautious and not really move it, but you know, whatever it is, you know, the toxic, there's, it's not toxic. You know, you, that is out of the way. Spirit has moved the toxic situation out of the way because the devil is in reverse. So there's no, you know, you don't really have to wait. You can be cautious. Everybody is like that, especially after you go through some traumatic things. You kind of be cautious of things that come in, but you don't have to be because that devil energy is gone. Uh, and the tower moment is gone as well. So you could have had a divorce from somebody, but that's all over with. None of that stuff is coming back up. You got the page of wands, somebody who delivers messages and it's exciting and new. All right, and you got the seven of pentacles, okay? It's something that you've been waiting for. That's your energy. Unless, I, again, you're with a, a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I hope you guys can still hear me. I don't know if these, if these things are... Hope you can hear me. I don't want to have to do this again. Okay, let's move on. So, a waiting, it's like you're waiting... Taurus on this knight of cups someone who wants to offer you love the knight in shining armor this knight is very kind and caring and loving they show their emotion they walk around with their heart on their sleeve and they're very very romantic and here's a king of cups okay so they want to, there's big time love here okay again it could be marriage as well so this person wants to have establish a relationship 
and a commit commitment with you, okay? Because we got a knight and a king. Or you could have a choice between two people. Excuse me, for some of you. Three of Pentacles, they want to collaborate, okay? They want a relationship. Somebody here wants a relationship. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be. They want to work together with you, right? Nine of Pentacles, because they see that you're very independent, very strong. Uh, I feel like, you know, you're gaining, like some of you may be entrepreneurs, have your own business, or you could be uh, like a boss of a business, something like that. But you're very, very uh, cautious of your money and, you, and, and you, you, you know, things around you, uh, material things that you, you've gained and worked hard for, okay? That person sees that in you. So you're going to start a new passionate beginning with this person. Five of Wands talks about, you know, somebody may have some type of inner conflict. Somebody could be, or that could have been something from your past coming up where um, somebody wants a new start and is passionate. You may think that they're out for, to get you for your money, but they're not. They just look at you because they admire you because you're stable and strong and can do for yourself. But they want a passionate new beat start with you. Um, but you have some internal conflict because of the past. But all they want is harmony. They want to get married. This is the marriage card, okay? So you probably didn't married or ha are married to this person. That you kind of like was like, hmm, I don't know if I should do this again. But the Eight of Pentacles, things are rolling pretty good. You know, it's very stable. Eight of Pentacles about stability and um Gain, you know, gain a lot, doing things together, um, focusing on what you're doing. Like I said, uh, very much work related. Possibly, you might have met this person at your job. Page of Cups, you know, they constantly sending you, sending you messages, constantly telling you that they love you want to be with you while you're at work <laughs> or you doing this to them. This could go both ways. Six of Cups, it also could be somebody from your past or you feel like it's a, a soulmate connection with. I'm going to stop there and do another round. Okay. okay. I hope this sound didn't go off on me. I really, really don't. Okay, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. magician you can make anything happen you're at the point now where um destiny is in your hands you have all the tools necessary to create whatever it is you want to create Taurus. okay uh, and that's in anything that you want in life you're at that point right now you're just being creative um whatever you think about you can bring about okay because you got all the tools necessary with the magician you are the magician okay Sorry for all the cards falling out. All right. Four swords. Okay. You may be dealing with Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. It's like you're just chilling. All right. You know what I'm saying? It's just resting. Okay. Not the king or queen of cups. Say a king or queen because it's a general reading, reading worldwide. Energies can go vice versa. Remember that. It doesn't necessarily have to be you. So, mad love. Okay. I don't know what else to say. Someone has got mad love, very mature because they're a king. They're seasoned. They know what they're doing. They know what they want. Page of Wands, they want to deliver some, you know, exciting news to you. They're coming to you with some news. It's very exciting and passionate. It's physical, so it's a physical move towards you, uh, Taurus, from someone that could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Queen of Wands, because they look at you as being beautiful, uh, 
courageous, confident, loving, caring, and you know how to take control, okay? Three of Swords, um, in the past, they know that you've been hurt. They're already aware of that that you've been hurt in the past. Ten of Pentacles, and it could have been somebody that you were married to in your past. Page of Pentacles is uh, this person coming to you with offerings, okay? They have something to give. You see, all that, all that they're very uh, material, for when it comes to material or um, tangible things, they have it going on, okay? And they want to offer these things could be a gift they're going to give you a ring here in a ring justice see they want i feel like they want marriage somebody's coming to some of you tauruses with a marriage proposal okay <sighs> good for you taurus some of you went to the justice of peace to get married to somebody who's been chasing you they've been chasing you okay could have been somebody over the road that likes to travel or something like that because I'm just seeing these roads. I keep seeing a lot of roads and stuff and, and like outdoorsy type cards like or they fly. They could be somebody that flies or travels or something like that for some of you. Look at that. Somebody on this moving. Um, I see all kind of background where like this person probably travels or something. Okay, I'm picking up. They see the world or something like that, and they're very. Like I said, some of y'all went to the Justice of the Peace to get married, and some of you are going to get married, like a, a formal wedding. The High Priestess. I feel like you already knew this was going to happen, or you had some kind of, you had some kind of inner. You use your in, in, intuition about the situation and you just went ahead and went for it <laughs> you made a judgment call you made a final call okay all right six of pentacles and it's very balanced okay the situation between you two are very balanced and stable the six of pentacles this is a blended family or something for some of you five of pentacles um yeah, somebody don't want to be left out in the cold or maybe they felt left out in the cold in the recent past, okay? So they, they want somebody who's very stable this time and they're going to use their intuition to make the decision to elope, to have a wedding. <laughs> Leave the comments, okay? Okay. Five of Swords is like um, I hope you guys can hear me. Okay, my ear, I heard something here. My ears, they may be going low. I have to charge them up. So, Five of Swords upright is like some type of defeat, but in you know, it's like the games are over. Is what I'm picking up. Like somebody's not playing any games. They're just like serious. Knight of Swords, they're coming in like the knight in shining armor. Okay. Y'all leave your uh, comments below. It's really good for you guys, Tars. You're having a good uh, April, okay, for a lot of you. A lot of you, I see, you know, you've been hurt in the past. You know, haven't we all? Haven't we all? Let me give you some advice here. But it's looking good for you. Some of you are getting married to somebody you're a little iffy about it at first but i feel like you're going to just like give in because this person's like determined um some of you i feel like i see a something about going to the justice of peace or just getting married a conventional wedding like having friends and family all that kind of stuff okay you got the fun card this is from my deck as well you can take these and use them as a cup of your own home look on my website you'll be able to find them okay you got the fun card be playful in your relationship so have fun you guys you know what i'm saying the worst is over that's what i'm seeing in y'all reading the worst is over have fun um good luck congratulations
Um, I feel like in the past, you know, you've really been duped by some trickster, manipulated a lot. You know, really, they really hurt you. But, you know, the past is, is the past. It's over with. You learn from it.